Well, it is a team effort at Allen Economic Development Group, and we're going to learn more about the board members and who all works together to bring things to our community. To my immediate left, he's one of the board members, but he's also UNH Dean of College of Business, Tim Fitzpatrick. And, of course, we've got uh, Dave Stratton. He is the president and CEO of Allen Economic Development Group. So thank you both for coming today. Thanks, Holly. Thanks for having us. Great to be here. Okay, so, Dave, you know, many organizations have mm -hmm. boards, but you guys really concentrate and make sure mm -hmm. that your board is diverse, right? Tell mm -hmm. us about that. It's important. It's a team effort. It always is. It's not just, you know, a few of the employees that are making it happen. The board is very active, very involved with what we do. There's 13 board members, uh, two ex, ex officio board members. What I like to do is get them engaged. Okay, how can they help us make a difference for Lima Allen County? And it's really important that we have different sectors that are involved. Mm -hmm. And so we're looking at within our board, different sectors like it might be, uh, it might it might be the hospitals, it might be in regards to the business community, it might be even uh, you know public employees like Mayor Smith's on our board, mm -hmm. uh, as well as uh, Commissioner uh, Seibert's on the board. But then there's an area that's really focused on the academic and how can we enhance the workforce of the future. And Tim's like, he's, a, he's our newest board member and does a great job. He's going to bring so much to, to EDGE in that respect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Tim, newer on the board, but what is it like? I mean. It because he talks about an active board. I mean, sometimes boards are just like, okay, sit at every meeting and you don't have to worry about it. But to participate in, and to actively be involved in what's happening in the area, that must be kind of fun. It is, and it's nice knowing some of the things that are going on in the Allen Economic uh, Region that they uh, support, right? So I think one of the, the best things is knowing that the multiple sectors are at the table to have a voice and, and to be able to be a part of the planning. And that gives us a chance with that input um, and, and for an institution like UNOH, then we can start to prepare our students for those relevant and career-focused uh, degrees that we offer in order to help the uh, workforce in general around the uh, region. So it's nice to be able to see and, and feel how that uh, all goes together. Right, yeah, yeah, because Dave talks all the time about how the workforce, you know, this we need this kind of workforce. So if you know kind of what's happening, then you can go back to the school and prepare everyone and, and change things up to, to make sure everything's going to work out right. Very much so, yeah. It, it, I guess it, the, the, the fascinating thing that I, I like about this is the innovation that's happening. Uh, the, the amount of, of uh, economic well-being that uh, is fostered with the EDGE group. And, and so, again, that prompts a little bit more of our growth as an institution at UNOH, but all of the academic areas, too, you know, that we want to make certain that our students are ready for what's next. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, pretty much what uh, my voice at the table is trying to ask for. Right, yeah. I mean, so. that, that's one of those important mm -hmm. voices, I assume, because mm -hmm. you can bring in however many plants and companies you need, but that's if right. the workforce isn't ready through right. trainings mm -hmm. at high schools up to college level, it's not going to work for you. you. You're exactly right. So we, what we have is a strategic plan. We're trying to develop what that plan looks like. Uh, our yearly plan is what we call 100, 20, 20 plus 10. How do we get to 100 businesses, hear what their needs are, try to help them with economic development, business development, and workforce job creation, right? And so what Tim brings to the table, along with others, is to better identify what is our need in respect to the businesses for the workforce for the future. And it, it matches really well with our strategic plan, of which one of those seven uh, goals within that plan is workforce development. Mm -hmm. Well, and I suppose it also works both ways. I mean, you know, if, if he's like, hey, we need some help with this. We know you need, like, all these welders or something like mm -hmm. that. And you guys can help out, too, with funding or training or whatever to make sure they're prepared, too, on their for side. For sure. So we're always looking for opportunities. So we're a conduit for the businesses to the academic community. And Tim does a great job with with that and then they'll listen they'll try to think through okay what kind of preparation might there be for the education of the future and any and, and they really run well with that mm -hmm. I mean is there a good relationship too between all the other institutions around whether high school level or college level too you guys kind of worked it well together absolutely I mean it, it, we're all in need right I mean uh, we, we have so many students at our, our uh, uh, tables here trying to learn uh, the different uh, things that they need to be successful and if it's, it's in our best interest to be uh, at the table and, and continuing the, the dialogue of trying to ready these uh, students for that graduation point. Get them out into the workforce. They're going to help improve not only the well-being of, of our community, but uh, just the, the quality of life in general for them. All right. Interesting to hear you, how it's You know, Holly, so many here. times we're always asking, asking you and the team here, what is it you want? 
And we always now. tell you. And, yeah, and you're, you're very free with telling me, we want this, this, and this. Uh -huh. But really, we want to be a listening ear because economic development is how can we enhance things for the future of the community. Right. And you and the team are really a part of that, but so are the businesses, right? Okay, right. speak to us, right? Let us know how we can advance Lima Allen County and how can we engage people like Tim Right, and if others, you have all those areas, yeah, you can sure. hear what every, all the needs are, what everybody wants. Yeah, That's the idea. Very good stuff. Good board. All right, thanks okay. for coming today, you guys. Thank thanks, you. Holly. All right, don't go away. We'll look at the weather forecast next.